next in css we are going to see horizontal navigation bar so this is our basic html code and within body section we have to create link uh, list of links and the list uh, here should be unordered list for that we are using ul and within li opening and closing we have to give link so a h r e f equals to first of all i am giving link to google page so it will be and here you are adding google second we'll be giving link to gmail page third will be giving to amazon page so it will be gmail here third will be amazon and here we have to change the linking text also amazon we can even give a link to a file within our same folder so here i am giving a link to a before and after dot html and here i am changing the text and here i am giving link to one more file login dot html save it and uh, this is how our page is looking uh, right now in our browser now we have to remove bullets we have to remove underline so here what we have to do uh, in head section we are giving style tag and within style tag ul for unordered list and uh, list style type to none this is going to remove bullets and now we have to remove underline also for that ally and in that anchor tag and here we have to give text decoration to none save it and uh, this is how our page is looking right now now we have to bring it in single line okay before that we have to we are giving background color background color here i'm giving is black so this is how it is looking i uh, background color is black so we have to change the text color so that it can be easily seen so here i am giving color of the text to be white so this is our text which is white in color and background color is black now we have to bring all these links in a single line so for that we have to here uh, use one property of display that is in line that will be for ally display and here i am giving in line now all the text is in the same line now we have to put margin uh, space in between so for that we are giving margin here and i'm giving it 18 pixel so 
so we can see that there is space in between each and every link now we can increase even its font size so here i am giving font size to uh, 20 pixel so it has increased our font size also next thing i want that uh, background color of this first link should change and whenever i hover over these links uh, its background color should change so first of all we are giving hovering effect to all the links so li a and this is hover effect we are giving we want that the background color should be when whenever we hover the background color should be uh, white and if the background color is white our text right now is already in white so it's going to disappear so we have to change the text color also yeah here that time whenever you hover text color oh, sorry color of the text should be uh, here we can give red okay i'm giving crimson save it and uh, go live so this is how it is looking right now we want to change the background color of this text as well so that is the first link we want to change its color so here we have to give ally a and uh, here i am giving class i have the, uh, this is a class active and we want that background color of here we are giving crimson only when the background is crimson it is going to text is going to disappear because it is like it hasn't got the color because we haven't assigned this class to our first link name of the class is active So text is disappearing so here we have to change the text color as well so here we are giving color of the text to uh, we can give any color yeah I'm giving black save and uh, now its color is black one more thing we want that whenever you hover over it it should increase the font size of these links right now font size is uh, 20 pixel so here we can give font size to 22 pixel i say so now we are hovering over it and its uh, font size is increasing and next we want to remove this space in between this uh, horizontal navigation bar and uh, this browser screen so here we can give margin to zero save and go live so it has removed the margin now we are clicking on google it is going to open google page when we click on uh, gmail it will open our gmail page and uh, when our amazon is going to open our amazon site before and after html page which we have cre created earlier and this is a login page which we created so this is our uh, horizontal uh, navigation bar 